an important question you may have is, how do I know if I'm in crisis? So here's the thing about crises, you don't know when they first start. Cancer, one can say, starts with a single cell division, for instance, or the collapsing of a company can be so widespread that it's really hard to see where the tipping point occurred. And the, the momentum towards a tipping point happens long before there's any immediate urgency. So how do you know you're in a crisis? It's when it's way beyond crisis. It's when the ambulance sirens are going. It's when you're being asked for a divorce. It's when you get the diagnosis. All those sorts of things tell you you're in crisis. Those are the, the very, um, very obvious sorts of crises. But there's another category of crises, and those are slow burn ones. Those are the ones where you might feel that things are going on just fine on the outside, but the sense of hollowness on the inside that feels that there's a tightness around it that just feels worse and worse, and you might try to compensate for it with more and more work or more and more toys or more and more whatever, drugs, infidelity, whatever. It's just not working, and the thought of facing what you already know is there is too much. That's a slow burn crisis. So that's how you know.